Hi there! In this video, we'll walk you through designing and automating dynamic product catalogs in Flipsnack from scratch using a product feed. This method helps you save time and streamline your workflow. Now let me show you how to create a spreadsheet or CSV file with all the details you want to include in your catalog. To begin, go to the automation section in the main dashboard. Click on the import button and choose your preferred method to upload your feed. We recommend using Google Drive since it's easier to update something in your catalog. Next, download our templates. You have two options. The simple product feed is the most basic version of the spreadsheet. This template allows you to customize everything to match your catalog's design. However, if you want to create shoppable catalogs, this template only lets you add products without variations. If you need a shoppable catalog with pop-ups for products that have variations, we recommend checking out our video on variable products. In this tutorial, I'll go with the simple product feed. Choose the preferred way to open your CSV. In my case, I'll import my CSV into a Google spreadsheet. Let's talk about this spreadsheet and how you can personalize it. You can personalize this spreadsheet with your preferred columns to match the information you want to display in your catalog. You can delete whatever column you don't need except for the SKU column. Make sure this column is filled with your unique IDs of your products. This column cannot be modified after you import the spreadsheet in your catalog. Let's add some new columns as well. For example, if you want to showcase two additional textures or materials of your product as images, you can add two more columns to the spreadsheet. Simply name them color1 and color2 or use any relevant labels. To include images in your content, use image files from a web server, FTP, or a hosting service that allows you to store or retrieve images. Then, copy the direct image URL and paste it into the designated image column. You can host them with Flipsnack as well. Check out the article in the description to see how you can do that. Now that we're done customizing this template, let's upload it to Flipsnack. I'll connect with Google Drive in my case and select my spreadsheet. Make sure you select your unique ID from your spreadsheet, SKU in our case. This column must stay the same and should not be changed in the future. This way, you can synchronize your catalog with future updates in your spreadsheet. You can select here what information from your spreadsheet must be displayed in your preview, so you can easily identify your products. If your columns have the same names as those in your pre-made templates, they will be mapped automatically. If not, you will need to map it manually so it can make the connection between your feed and our platform. Now let's go to our flipbooks. You can either add some new pages to an existing catalog or you can create an entirely new catalog from scratch. Let's design the layout of your catalog by organizing placeholder for product elements such as. First, I'll have some images. then a title, description, and price. At this step, I can add everything that I have in my spreadsheet. A cool thing is that I can add interactivity to make my catalog shoppable. For example, I can add shopping buttons. If you want to learn more about our shopping features, please check out the video linked in the description. For better organization, another useful tip is to rename your layers in the Layers section. This will make the next step easier. Once I'm satisfied with my page design, I need to group all my elements by selecting them and clicking the Group button in the upper right corner. Now, let's connect our catalog with our CSV file. Go to Connect with the Feed icon, which is located in the upper right corner. A pop-up model will appear. On the left, you'll see all the elements in the group. On the right, you'll see the columns from your spreadsheet. Map each page element to the corresponding column in your product spreadsheet. At the bottom of the pop-up, you'll see the shopping button we added. On the left, you'll find all the customization options for the button, but we'll only fill in the product information on the right using the data from our spreadsheet.
click Save Changes. To save time, duplicate elements using Ctrl D on Windows or Command D on Mac. The duplicated sections will already be connected to the feed, so you can quickly drag and drop products into them. OK, so we're almost done. Go to the Automation section and drag and drop products from your spreadsheet into the template. Click the Preview button in the upper right corner to ensure everything looks as expected. Our shopping features offer great flexibility from sending quotes to integrating direct payments. If your product has variations, like this one for example, then you need to use the other template. Check out this video in the description on how to prepare a variant rich template. To apply updates to your spreadsheet and sync them with your product catalog, check the other video about how synchronization works in Flipstack. And that's it, you're ready to go. If you have any questions or feedback, contact us via live chat or get in touch with our product experts. Thanks for watching.